Let's get on ready, bitches. So, the first thing I do before I go to bed is wash my face. But I need to put up my hair or else it gets in all the soap and it's annoying. So, so I feel like I have some dryness going on, so I'm gonna use a little bit of a scrub. And with this, you don't wanna exfoliate more than like a few times a week because then your skin will just get really weird. So I tend to do it probably like twice a week. I should probably have taken off my earrings, but <laughs> I gotta close my eyes, bye. Oh wow, looking good. I only had like a tinted moisturizer and some mascara and stuff on, but I love the feeling of taking off my makeup. Like I hate wearing makeup. And I feel like that has a lot to do with having good skin is like just make sure you wash off all your makeup before you go to bed because it is the worst sleeping with makeup on. So I still have some mascara left on my eyes. I'm gonna use this cleansing oil because it's again, not harsh on your eyes and it gets rid of the a little excess makeup that you might have around the eye area. So I put a little bit on and dab it like that. And I just brush under and over to get rid of that raccoon eye. <laughs> so next is my mask process. Um, I have two here, the Charlotte and Lancome one. I think I'm gonna use the, Char the Lancome one today because it is for some dry skin and it's super hydrating. So yeah, I'm gonna use the Youthful Radiance Mask infused with serum today. Hopefully it gives me, that was my British accent. I'm not very good at it, but I try. That's another thing I practice every night before I go to bed when I'm alone, which tends to be a lot of the time. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's the good stuff right there. Oh, yeah. So again, my, my skin is dry, so I like using anything that's a hydrating mask, especially if I'm somewhere where it's like winter weather. So I'm from Toronto, so my skin would get so dry in the winter. And I just feel like these masks really help with that, with that extra hydration that my face needs. And then everything excess, I rub it down to my neck because the last thing I want is a wrinkly neck. It's not cute. This is the time when I just start dancing. So now there's all that moisture and I just like getting it all out and getting it really in there. Okay, mask complete. So this is my life. So this one is made by Herbivore. It's Jasmine Green Tea and it's a balancing toner. I love it because it just gives me that extra moisture once again. Just put a little in there too. Anytime my face feels kind of like tense, I don't know how to explain it. Even if I have makeup on, I'll just spray that on top and it's fine and you just like air it out and you're good. So this is an active serum. I take um, like one, two, three drops and pat it and you just literally pat it all over. It gives you this like tingly sensation and I just feel like this gets rid of the, any extra redness or blemishes I may have. Next is under eye cream, which I find to be the most important. I have two different eye creams that I use. There's either the Le Mieux, <laughs> the Le Mieux, which is like an eye wrinkle corrector. Um, that probably is better for like more anti-aging. So when I like have extra, if I have like a lot of makeup on and I've taken it off and I feel like it's like really wrinkly or something, I use that. And then this one is Sunday Riley. It's a brightener and deep puffer. I don't even know if I have any left because I use this one more often. I have a problem with like dark circles kind of and it gets puffy easily. So this targets that um, and I put very little under my eye. Oh, a note that I used to do a lot of, which is so bad. I thought the more product to use the better. So 
when I started doing that, I would get these like little bumps here and apparently it came from over moisturizing. So definitely don't overuse your products. Just use enough to just fill that area barely. And then I'll use, this is strange. I don't know if people do this, but I'll use this Lemieux stuff on um, parts like my forehead because I don't want to get wrinkles. It's a lot of or my lip lines here. I don't have it right now, but I'm just so scared of getting wrinkles that I just do all this stuff. Your 20s is when you're supposed to start preventing your wrinkles from happening. So I like never go outside without SPF on my face. Before I go to bed, I make sure I put some kind of like around my eyes, like an anti-wrinkle. And even if it's like a little bit on my forehead or my like any areas where I'm like, oh my God, there might like, I'm starting to get a little bit here. I just got put onto this. It's Charlotte Tilbury and it's called a magic mask and you put it before you go to bed. There's like a whole system that was set up on how to put it on, which I learned. So it's super thick. Um, obviously, I don't, I don't use this every night, but again, when I'm feeling like my skin's dry, I take a very little amount and you put it on your app, the apples of your cheeks under your jaw and on top of here and then you're supposed to apply it like upward. And it again is a preventative thing. It's great for like when I'm feeling extra dry, like if I have weeks where I've put on a lot of makeup, I'll use this when I go to bed and then the next morning my skin will feel like it's back to normal. So next is this new product that I just started using. It's very moisturizing, it has hyaluronic acid in it and vitamin C and it's paraben free. So I'll definitely travel with this because it's a small container. I can bring it on my carry on and I just, I can put it on before I go to bed and I wake up feeling great. I'm just obsessed with it. It's like my new thing that I travel with and glide around with. So yeah, now I'm hydrated. So I'm obsessed with this. It's Laneige, it's a lip sleeping mask. It usually has a stick, but I like using my nails and I just put a good chunk on all over and again you wash it off when you wake up in the morning and it just gives your lips everything needs to get moisturized even them lips and now hair gotta get them locks tight so I love I like my hair is long and again it's dry so if I wash my hair every day it'll just be horrible but I'm gonna wash my hair tomorrow morning I only wash it like every three days or four days. I've trained it to not get oily. Um, but since I know I'm washing it tomorrow morning, I'm gonna put some, I love Moroccan oil, of course. I put a little extra because I wanna sleep with it and I wanna make sure it gets all the moisture it needs. And I put it all on my ends. And like, look, it already looks so much better. And when you sleep on it, and then I'll even put coconut oil sometimes like all over myself if I'm really dry, but especially in the ends of my hair, coconut oil works wonders and you wake up in the morning and just wash it off and you're good. Then I put a little bit, well now I can't open anything. This Kerastase like, it's like an oil spray and for the areas that I just feel like are even more dry, I kind of spray it on there and this smells so bomb too. So now my hair is super moistured up. I actually would go out with my hair like this, like what? It actually looks cute right now, but I'm just going to sleep by myself. So, I got my final step. Let me just tie up my hair again, actually. Now I do it actually in like a tight bun so that it just sits there and soaks up all of the oils I just put in. Okay, so my final step, which I find so important, I feel like a lot of people don't do, is hydrate your body. So I love these two products. So this one, I used to work at this place called Trade Secrets. It's in Toronto, um, where they just had a bunch of like beauty products and stuff like that. It's kind of like a Sally's. And when I used to work there, I would use this all the time, but they have it at Costco now. So I got it from there. This, I love this. It smells so bomb. It's not expensive at all. and. You can put this on, I put it on my elbows cause I have super ashy elbows, it's so random. And like, I have to like exfoliate my elbows so much in the shower. So I put this on like areas that need extra moisture, my elbows, my knees, and on my butt a little bit because it helps with stretch marks. I just put a little bit of each 
and mix them together because that one's really thick. This one isn't so thick. And let me get my foot. <laughs> oh my gosh, and under my feet. Like you do not want anything dry. And I just feel like if I don't do this, especially under my feet, if I'm like wearing sandals all day, they're just so dry. So gotta get all up in there. Put a little bit in there and there. <laughs> I am done, and that is my routine before I go to bed. Mwah. Good night, folks.